Hello. Okay, so yesterday I finished my last final for spring quarter and it was amazing and today I've done absolutely nothing and I was thinking you know I should probably like reconnect with the world since I've been completely isolated and um, you know in my own little world I guess with school and health issues and family stuff um, so I, I really have not talked to friends, talked to anyone, and so I thought, hey, I'll just make a YouTube video and kind of update the world, um, on what's going on in my life. So, hello. It's been a long time. I don't even really know where to start. I think the last time I made a video was, like, way back in the fall or winter. I don't really remember, but, um, let's see. So, January. Um... My grandma was, we've just had a lot of health issues in my family. It's been ridiculous. My grandma was diagnosed with kidney cancer and I'm really, really close with her. So it was like this big shock because she's like the healthiest person in the world. Um, in fact, my grandma's the sit and be fit lady on PBS, the person in the chair going, you know, heel toe, heel toe. That's my grandma. Um, anyway, so she had surgery and I... It was like a, kind of a long recovery and I was at the hospital with her and I stayed with her at home afterwards. So um, anyway, she's doing great and she's cancer free. Um, but that was kind of like this like weird shock like, oh my gosh, my grandma, like who's the healthiest person I know, you know, got cancer. And I mean, I think someone in, in my family, my uncle has gotten skin cancer. But we don't really have cancer in our family, so it was this, like, big, like, what? <laughs> um, but she's doing great. And then I had a tilt table test in February, which is where they strap you to a table. <laughs> and um, pretty much they are monitoring um, your heart. They have a constant EKG going, your blood pressure, your heart rate, all of that. And then they lift, like, they tilt the table up. And then they monitor you for 30 minutes, and if nothing happens, then they tilt you back down and they give you some meds to kind of, like, um, aggravate any kind of, like, heart arrhythmias or issues. And then they tilt you back up for another 30 minutes or 40 minutes, and then that's the end. Well, <laughs> they strapped me in, they tilted me up, within about a minute and a half, I passed out completely, with no drugs, nothing. And so yeah, I was diagnosed with POTS, which explains a lot of the issues I've had um, with like fatigue and like passing out all the time. Because <laughs> um, for a long time I just, I didn't understand what was going on because I'm a healthy weight, more than a healthy weight, and I'm eating well, I'm, you know, I'm not doing any kind of behaviors, I shouldn't be having these problems. Like when I was malnourished, Yes, I understood why I might pass out every now and then, but now I didn't really have a good excuse. So, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome is, um, pretty much it means your autonomic system doesn't work right and your blood pulls in your legs. It pretty much means your, your blood goes to the wrong places at the wrong time. So it can cause a host of problems, like stomach problems, um, brain fog, which I've gotten a lot, <laughs> um, because your your blood's pooling and your brain needs more blood, and because you're thinking hard, um, so then it just is hard to think. <laughs> um, but it explains why I pass out all the time, it explains why my heart goes into tachycardia, so I'm on meds for that, so that's all cool. And then, what else has happened? Um, my mom was in the hospital for a few days and then was in the hospital again and had to have surgery. Her appendix ruptured and there was a mass on her colon, um, which we're still waiting for her colonoscopy to find out if it's benign or not. Um, but anyway, so that was like kind of dramatic. <laughs> um, and then, oh, this is the fun part. Okay, so. Eating wise and stuff, um, I've been good, but I haven't been able to lose weight. I was exercising, doing heavy weight lifting and high intensity interval training mixed with like slow intensity. Um, and I cannot lose weight. 
I mean, not that I'm trying to lose weight, but I am at the highest weight I've ever been, and I could be still a healthy weight and a lot less. <laughs> so um, that's a little frustrating. Um, I did gain muscle, but I did that for like three or four months. And then I got TMI diarrhea every day, several times a day for five weeks. So I finally decided to go and be seen by a doctor. Sorry, there's a bug and I want to kill it. Never mind, I won't. Um, okay, I'm not looking at the bug. <laughs> um, yes, so I finally decided to see a doctor. Turns out, one, I have um, hypothyroidism, so my thyroid's low, which is why I'm still tired all the time and I can't lose weight. And um, I also have celiac disease, <laughs> which means I can't have gluten. So, <laughs> I swear, it's been one thing after the other. Um, like, I've been having back problems lately too, so I've seen a chiropractor several times and a massage therapist, been to urgent care, um, got a nice dog bite that I had to get a shot for, and um, yeah, it just kind of seems like, you know, things should be calming down now, but they're not. <laughs> um, so I'm really hoping that things kind of figure themselves out because I am so tired of having problems and I have like a million health problems and the truth is a lot of it has to do with like eating disorder stuff. Um, I really think I did a lot of damage to my body when I was sick and I think that 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 triggered a lot of issues in my body as well like the thyroid problems and um, yeah, so anyway, don't have an eating disorder because it sucks. <laughs> um, but eating disorder wise, I have been doing good. Um, I have been purging every now and then because when, okay, so when I have gluten on accident, which has happened a few times, I get really sick and end up throwing up and everything. And I don't know why, but that kind of like triggered something in me. And every now and then I've been purging, but like not that often, like once every couple weeks. So I'm trying to stop that because that should not be a part of my life. Um, and I want to move on from that, which is why I haven't been making videos because I really do. I need to move on. I need to not be eating disordered. <laughs> like I still would love to keep this YouTube channel and not always talk about eating disorder stuff and talk about just life. But I'm kind of afraid I'm going to disappoint some people who, like, their primary reason for watching me was because of eating disorder stuff. Um, but that's cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with this channel. Um, I, I don't know. I would like to start doing something more so I stay connected with the world because I really have been in my own little bubble. Um, but I don't really know what that's gonna look like like if I should start writing on my blog again or Keep doing this so any feedback would be great if anyone sees this video because I haven't made one in forever So who knows who's on YouTube anymore? Um, what else? Oh my gosh, there's like so much I don't even know I kind of cover like the main things. Oh So Ryan's aunt his like favorite aunt she committed suicide and that was really traumatic so we've been kind of dealing with that and that's like a whole, that's like a huge story I could go into probably in a blog because <laughs> it's a, it's a really traumatic and sad story. Um, and it was really difficult, especially for his dad, who was the last one who saw her and talked with her. Um, and yeah, she said she was going to commit suicide, but she said it before, um, and then she did, and it was kind of like, he kind of blames himself. So, anyway, there's that, and that was really difficult for his family. Um, but, yeah, um, what else? Gosh. Uh, my birthday was Saturday, which was really fun. Um, it was nice, because I, I got to relax, and Ryan made me breakfast. He made me gluten-free pancakes. Oh, I should totally do another video on what I eat now, on what I'm trying to eat and stuff. Oh, I'll do that. I should do that, like, right now, before I forget. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, 
yeah, so he made me breakfast, and then I went with my mom and my older sister, um, and we got pedicures and manicures, and we had Starbucks, and I had a gluten-free cupcake, um, which we got next door at this, like, local cupcake place, um, and then I got a massage and went out to dinner with my husband, and I was just, it was really relaxing like the first relaxing day I've had in a long time because school has been insane but the good news is I have gotten all 4.0s which is like the highest you can get because I know some people aren't from the U.S. who watch um I've gotten all 4.0s in all my classes including this last quarter so for the last three quarters so I feel very proud of myself and just I don't know. I feel very proud of myself and I'm happy. So, okay, I'm going to make that food video now. Um, <laughs> this was like the really crazy fast video. Like, I'm talking so fast. I'm trying to like stop myself, but I'm sorry. Um, but maybe I'll keep making videos if people want to watch. Like, they won't necessarily always be about food and eating disorder stuff, but let me know what you think. So, yeah. Okay, food video. Woohoo!